want a UTI. UTIs are not welcomed in your life. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, this is how we do it. Pull up and we kill them on arrival. That's a drive by. Call a Uber because we lit. And you know it's pretty as we staying all the way on the west side. That's the best side. It's you to come through if you with it. Hey, Roses. Welcome or welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Akur. And this channel belongs to the two of us. That's Achol and I. I've not been here for some time now, but your girl is back. Yay! Anyway, without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. So, if you clicked on to this video, you've clearly seen the title. You know what I'm going to be talking about today. So, I'm going to be talking about feminine hygiene. So, feminine hygiene, uh, where I come from, I feel like it's a topic that's not mostly openly talked about. It's almost like a taboo, for lack of a better word. People tend to, you know, sweep it under the rug. Uh -uh. <laughs> on the lolo. But I decided, why not come out about it? Why not talk about it in the open? I mean, these are natural things. It's God who created them. They, are, they happen, it's there, we have to deal with it. So, I'm going to be sharing some of, a few tips that I've learned from the media, from the female figures in my life, you know, name it. I'll share, be, I'll share it to my sisters out there, because I know some of my sisters out there are not lucky enough to have the female figures in their lives to guide them through some of these things. So I was like, why not share my tips, the things that have been working for me so far. So yeah, without any further ado, whew, let's jump in. So, <clears throat> for point number one, we are going to be talking about the fact that for a long, 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 long time, most of us females, we've been lied and made to believe that our lady parts, that's our vaginas, uh -huh, are meant to smell like roses, strawberries, honey, sunshine whatever sunshine smells like i don't know but that's what we've been made to believe which is not true because naturally every woman has their own scent they have a natural scent and that natural sm scent almost smells like nothing that's if your ig hygiene is on point yeah so don't let these things pressure you into getting foreign stuff like extremely scented soaps perfumes and introducing them to your lady beast it won't do you any good. Your vagina will be uh, unhealthy. And that's how you end up with UTIs, yeast infections, name it. Yeah, so that's it. Don't let them fool you. Your vagina has a natural smell, sister. And that natural smell almost smells like nothing if you're clean enough. Okay. When you're cleaning your lady beast, your labia area, your vagina, please, please, I beg you use water only water is enough please sister water is enough don't use any extremely scented soaps or yeah just use water because your vagina is a self-cleaning organ by itself god created it like that it's self-cleaning so all the dirt flushes itself out so all you just need to do is just go there with some water clean and you're good to go trust me you won't smell anything if you do it right just yeah this i know it's a bit eh, but when you're going to the ladies or to the loo and you're you know going for a long call please try as much as possible to not wipe from back to front wipe from front to back okay because if you do from back to front can you imagine you're introducing the bacteria from back to your vagina that's not nice because you'll end up with a uti trust me my sister you don't want a uti utis are not welcomed in your life okay okay <laughs> then number four for number four i'm going just to be talking about basically when you're in your period because when you're in your period this thing has it involves blood so what i think what personally i do is that you should use like mild really really mild soap to clean your lady beast just for that be extra ness because uh -uh, blood is involved at this point in time so you need to be a little bit extra with the cleaning so just use mild soap that's not scented and please try as much as 
possible to avoid inserting it into your vagina just clean around your labia area i don't know if you understand what yeah but clean around your labia area just make cause the vagina itself cleaning so all that ugh, disgusting blood or whatever it will just clean itself so that's it you just yeah then the next point is drink a lot of water drink a lot of water since what water helps as in water is life what doesn't water cure as in just drink a lot of water because personally i realize when i drink a lot of water eat healthy like a lot of vegetables and stuff like that ooh, ooh, as in as in i can smell nothing literally oh yeah and also don't be ashamed it's okay to you know when you're going to shower at least take your time sniff your underwear you know you have to know what you smell like for you to know when things are going okay and things when and when things are not mm -mm, something is off don't do it okay i don't do it because it's fun or it's some kind of fetish but you know to know that i'm healthy you have to sniff it sniff your underwear smell it and know yeah okay everything is good we are good to go let's continue the routine <laughs> yeah when you eat unhealthy you realize you whatever your lady bits or your discharge kind of has a smell a little smell not so bad but you can tell the difference <laughs> Then what else? Please, in as much as you want to wear your lingerie, your silk underwears and whatever, be, you know, trying to be extra for your mans and stuff like that, try as much as possible to wear cotton panties 24-7 because cotton underwears let your breathe and that's good for your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> they let it it let, the cotton panties are good for your vagina so invest in those more in as compared to the silk panties yeah then how about like at night it's not every night that you know by the way in short some nights you can decide to just sleep commando as in just wear your night dress and you know let it breathe let it get some air <laughs> when it comes to shaving i feel like sh for shaving that's a personal choice because some people prefer when it's extremely you know we call come up forehead yangu and some people prefer a little bit some prefer it bushy but personally i feel like um uh, cleaning it and cutting the extreme hair growth because you know over there the hair just does the most that's why it grows overnight <laughs> so you can decide to, like personally I, just, I usually you know shave so that it's easier for me you know to get in there and clean properly there's no moussiness no smell no odor yeah that's it <laughs> then oh i'm so sure some of you have heard of douching and stuff like that please in as much as you can avoid douche <laughs> what did i say <laughs> avoid douching it's not healthy for you sister it's not because you know what douching does you're going to use yeah you're still using water or whatever when you go to the gynecologist or whoever does it for you they just the water will flush out everything including the good bacteria that your vagina needs to keep it going so once that's done when that good bacteria is flushed out your vagina is more prone to infections like yeast infections utis so don't don't go for douching avoid them then last but not the least <clears throat> let's talk about men i know you're wondering how men are involved in this whole <laughs> feminine hygiene thing but you see, after you do the nasty, we are all grown up here, so you understand what I mean when, by after you do the nasty, that's after having sex. Please, in as much as possible, try and go to the loo immediately after. Go pee, go flush out the extra bacteria that was add, just added into your system. Go flush it out. Don't, and if you're a guy, please, if you love your, whoever it is, your wife, your girlfriend, whatever, kitumunafanya. <laughs> 
<laughs> just tell her to go to the loo, pee, clean up, and you can come back and, you know, yada, 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 yada. Uh, those are the few tips I had for you today. And if you have more tips, you can comment down below. Help your sisters. Let's help each other out. You know. And please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And bye.